A sum of money at compound interest amounts to rupees 8,100 in 5 years and uh, rupees 8,748 in 6 years. The question is, number 1, find the rate of interest. Number 2, amount in 7 years. Number 3, amount in 4 years. Okay. So, first, for 5 years, for 5 years, for 5 years, okay, the amount is rupees 8,100. Okay. For 6 years, for 6 years, the amount is 8748 okay rupees 8748 huh? this is the thing now we have to calculate the difference okay what is the difference five five and six years okay so the difference amount is difference uh, is equal to 8748 minus uh, 8100 that is equal to 648 rupees 648 so this is the difference in amount ok so this difference in amount is the interest rupees rupees 648 is the interest of interest of rupees 8100 Okay, so that is the interest. Now we can calculate what is the rate of interest. So we know the formula. Uh, yes, that is S A is equal to P T R by 100. Here P is equal to 8100. And uh, S A is equal to 648. And uh, T is equal to 1. Okay, so we simplify it. 648 is equal to uh, 8100 into 1. Rate of interest we don't know, small r. Okay, we don't know. Divided by 100. Okay, um, PTR okay. Uh, we simplify it. This two terms that cancel. So 648 divided by 81. 648 divided by 81 that is the rate of interest 648 by 81 that is equal to 8% so the rate of interest is 8% so the rate of interest 8% for 8100 rupees ok this is the first question answer so the next question answer is next question is Amount in 7 years. Amount in 7 years. Okay. So that is equal to um, amount in 6 years. Amount in 6 years plus interest. Interest on first year. Okay. So that will be the 7th year. So, amount in 6 years is given that is equal to uh, 8748 plus interest first year that is 8 percentage of 8 percentage of 8748. Okay, that will be the amount in 7 years 8748 into 8 divided by 100 that is the interest plus. 8748 that is equal to the amount is 9447.84 rupees 9447.84 pice this is the answer for the second question the third question is amount in 4 years let me say amount in Amount in 4 years. 4 years is equal to x. Okay. Amount in 5 years. Amount in 5 years. 5 years is equal to 
principal of four years plus interest. Okay. Huh? Amount in four years is eight thousand hundred. Yes, given. Okay. So we don't know this value principal x plus interest eight percentage of x. Eight percentage of x. Eight percentage of x. Okay. We simplify it. This is eight thousand hundred. That is equal to x plus eight x divided by hundred. That is equal to eight thousand hundred. Um, is equal to a hundred x plus eight x divided by hundred. Okay. So you can write like this: eight thousand hundred into hundred divided by 108x 108 um 108x into x so x is so x is equal to x is equal to 8100 into 100 divided by 108 so that will be the x value what is x x is the amount in four years so 8100 into 100 divided by 108 so 7500 so this is 7500 rupees x is equal to rupees 7500 what is the x value amount in 4 years amount in 4 years is this amount in 5 years 8 percentage of 7500 so into 8 divided by 100 that is equal to 600. 600. So interest is 600. Okay, 7500 per 600. That is the 8100 is the fifth year amount given. So this is the sum of the money for 5 years. 5 year amount is 8500. Principle of uh, 4 year plus interest. So interest is uh, 8 percentage. I get the 4 year amount is 7500 this is the answer this is the third question answer and uh, this is the second question answer this is the first question answer ok this way you have to work out this problem